Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Old Evil Dave here with 11 MTG, and we are back with some Pioneer gameplay. Post RC, new Pioneer matters after Dusk Morn. We've got some Celestia. We've called it Hate Bears because of our good old friend HMRC, the tax man. It's Celestia Company, though, if you want to sort of be uh, right on in the meta. And Scott, here you are rocking the Brutastic Saltai Oculus. We've seen this deck a little bit in a previous video, but let us talk us through how this is going to match up against the Slesnia Coco deck. Well, this is one side is playing elves and playing Collected Company and putting things like Adeline, maybe Skyclave Apparition or Rathalia into play. And I'm putting in either an Atraxa or an apparent oculus which is generally better so that's sort of the way it goes yeah absolutely for the people at home we're cu currently deciding who goes first based on the best rare game how does it work scott let people know so if, if they want a different way to uh, this... decide who goes first yeah this is one i've been introducing to modern quite heavily which i do run for a local store is everyone gets a participation pack just for coming down and buying a ticket and playing at all. So when you sit down for your first round, I will walk around and throw packs out one to everyone. So when I sit down opposite my opponent, I say, well, highest total CMC of rares goes first. And then if you draw on the highest, on the total mana value of your rares, you move to uncommons and then commons. If you draw on all of them somehow, then you can either do it based on value of the rare or you then just roll dice. You get back to roll dice after yeah. about seven tiebreakers. Yeah. It's good fun. Absolutely. Good fun. Good set of decks here today. Um, we talk about Celestia playing the Elves. The Salt Eyed Oculus deck, though, is fully tooled up with the Lano RL's Elvis Mystic uh, combo. And here we see the start of the hate. Thalia coming down on two. Yeah, pretty good when I had an Eldritch Evolution in hand ready to go get an Oculus, but able to play the Flaggy, it'll operate as a blocker, pick up a Thoughtseize, which is pretty nice to clear the way for an Oculus to come. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we see a lot of uh, mana there in Paul's hand, uh, a, Coco, a Coco hiding out, and uh, getting in here with the um, Thalia to um, hit Ganjo, so like yeah, the Ganjo going on the channel ability there um, to um, clear out that blocker. You're not yeah. you're not unhappy to see that, right? No, I'm not devastated. Just mostly trying to use up the cards in his hand. So absolutely fine to use the Ganjo like that. Just start chunking through my blockers. This was yeah, round. Yeah. This was round one of the day, so people weren't aware what I was actually playing yet. Yeah, the abhorrent Oculus here as well against the type of creatures in this deck is a beta as well. You're talking about um, two ones. Um, what you've got, Kellen in this, Kellen in Paul's build. Or, no, actually, not Kellen, but you've got Scavenger News, Lumark Aspirant. It's more based around the hate stuff, so like Skyclave Apparition. You're 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 a big house um, when it comes to creatures uh, in comparison. And uh, the thing is, Thalia also hit, hurts Paul as well, right? So, um, you know, Coco would be able to be played normally right here, but there's a, there's a tax that needs to be paid. Yeah, Thalia working against the deck that only plays seven instants and sorceries, even if you include Amiria's call there. But <laughs> I was just never blocking the Thalia, it's, it's pointless. And then being able <laughs> to pass the thought sees. Just drops it in the graveyard. It's like, I've got nothing else to give, sir. Oh, that, that, this is a really, uh, really tough run out. I, I, I guess, like, in one situation on into an unknown opponent, uh, the Thalia Coco Keep was probably okay, um, but they absolutely flooded out from here on in by the looks of it. I am also very often a, a fatal push gamer, so keeping a hand that kind of relies on Thalia being played and then trading off for something is probably okay to do yeah absolutely and uh here, here come the uh here come the two two beaters yeah oculus is just an army in a can it's unbelievable yeah you actually the the, the card is just in a great spot and we are people often call like silly early bands i don't see people doing that with oculus because i think we've definitely got 
it costs multiple formats a adjustment period. It's definitely fueled up uh, the Merc tight kind of uh, gameplay in modern. It's sitting pretty here in Pioneer in a bit of an undiscovered way. And well, the Azorius mentor deck, as we would have called it in standard, is just picked it straight up and running with it and is really up there in like the top few decks in the meta. A bit of adjustment coming though. You know, we know we have access to Rest in Peace, we have ac access to Leyline of the Void. And even Ghost Vacuum is a really great little sort of like hate piece for the graveyard. So it's doing really well now. Will it stay there is going to be a question yet to be seen. Don't play Ghost Vacuum, just play Soul Guide Lantern. <laughs> Very true. Although pe people, pe people love the new toys, right? Yeah, I know, but people are also very bad at card evaluation, by and large. That's me included. That includes every Magic player. Very few actually... people saw Fable coming. Very few people saw Oko, Uro. Very few people saw all of this coming. I, I actually saw it in a, deck, in a deck the other day where I, I the, there was no justification for why it wasn't Rest in Peace. Um, the the always, you know, the, the new always deck that people are playing in uh, yeah, Standard. Yeah. Um, I saw Ghost Vacuum in that. I was like, why are you just not on Rest in Peace? You're actually an enchantment deck as well. And it was just a shrug of the shoulders, just going, meh, new cards. And I was like, okay, probably uh, look great. Because, <laughs> because sometimes you can pay six mana to have a minimal effect, Dave. That's very true. And uh, here's the double the double spell, the Elvis Mystic and the Canker Bloom. Bloom, fun little sort of mid-level tech cards, you know, blow some things up. Um, not sure why the bring in here we didn't see it in game one it might it might be main board but um not it could too be many it could be about. it could be thinking maybe founding the third path that sort of thing but there might also just be one in the main deck it's pretty versatile in what it can do it can answer a lot of different things it's it's okay to hit off a collected company and there's a lot of random artifacts and enchantments running around this was obviously post dusk morn so maybe anticipating some enigmatic incarnation or overlords that sort of thing yeah true true and you're not blocking with a mystic because this is perfect near for near for fodder here um from what i can tell oh we got the mana confluence down um but he's saying go um but I yeah, I'd, need, I'd need stuff. to I, i'd need to have a uh a near form to cast a near form you see um, and there we go. We got um, the fail push taken away the canker boom. Paul keeping back the owls, which at this point is screaming to you, to you. Um, uh, Coco is being cast at uh, uh, some point. A Avon interrupter, which I did see on the thoughtsies. Ah, right. Okay. So now I get to have the fun game of navigating through an Avon interrupter. So thoughtsies, very good way to do that. Kind of provokes Paul to play it just to get the two two on board. Thoughtsies goes off on plot. Yeah, you, you take that. I think. I think like that's an absolute, you, you know, mana. You know, the mana sink trade off. Like if Thoughtsies later is also not the worst thing in the world. Um, what do you do to get keep a keep a lid on this flyer though? I mean, the, it's <laughs> it's yes. yeah, it's it's just a two two quote unquote where that's not. A huge threat to my life total at this point. There's not a huge amount of damage backing it up. I know Paul's only got two cards in hand. One of them yeah. now that I can see as well as a land. Even if that last card is a collected company, I can probably reasonably just go for go for it. But six mana. Kayla's okay. reconstruction, I believe. Yeah. So Kayla's reconstruction. Kayla's on three. Kayla's on which. Three. Is pretty good. That's quite a big collected company, so not feeling super great at this point where I'm just kind of thinking, well, if I can get this near form down or anything like that. I believe Jack, who was on the buy off to the side, said two elves. Uh, Paul looked at the cards off the top of the library, swore at him, and then put two elves onto the battlefield. So, no. <laughs> Very, yeah, very, very fortunate for me. They're very unfortunate for uh, our resident tax man to only hit two elvish, two elves there. Yeah, he absolutely had to pay. Ended up paying his dues there, which uh, you know, which is all one ones on the board and the trample from the mandrills. You can just go, oh, you can go in, you can get the damage, and that evolution there is going to mean that Atraxa is online and. Uh, still possibly 
we all know it's a great car, but I still think like it's still got that element of like it still doesn't get enough like praise for what this the engine this can be in the decks that it's in. And you're gonna like completely refill your hand here from a choice of ten cards off the top. If like, a, if I, a card if a card replaces Grizzle Brand in yeah. Eternal formats, it's it's good enough. That's yeah, so, it's it's good enough. Yeah, so we're going to definitely be seeing a lot of this throughout more of the upcoming standard era. And look at this. You've got Eldritch Evolution. It's going to get you another one. Or you can even use it on uh, to go and get an Oculus instead. Fail push, always good. Um, you know, you you, ta you take four. Like four four um, in this particular um, deck it, for, from four types is great. Like we don't have a, a major enchantment pool. We don't have any battles. So, um, yeah, you uh, can fatal push away the Avid Interrupter, which is going to uh, put you right in the driving seat here. Yeah, fa fatal push is really, really good. Full stop, obviously. But in this deck in particular, because you're playing things like Neoform, turning on Revolt is really, really easy to do. Yeah, and Paul was top decking at this point as well, right? So you you were gonna have yeah. to like run into a very unlucky Taylor's reconstruction for seven or something like that, um, which uh, as long as you didn't, as long as that didn't happen, you were about to s completely flip the life totals, um, go up and up to fifteen. Paul going down to I believe about five. Well, yeah, well, it's keep, keep ticking. We're we're at the point now where this is where the green white company deck struggles. It needs to stop you doing your thing to win the game. And yeah. in this example, I have done the thing. I I have done the slightly more powerful thing of getting an Adraxa as opposed to an Oculus, but you can get Oculus a lot more quickly. So yeah. Abrupt Decay, the Luminarch, just cleaning up everything, allows me to delve out a Tassigur as a follow-up as well. And, and it's never bad to have like a 5-5, five, five, right? Like it's just... Four five, yeah, Squire. Four, four five. five. Four, four, you never, five you, four five. You never played with it in standard. I'll let you off. True, true, true. Uh, I, I power crapped it to an Overlord instead. Um, <laughs> but Paul is holding, holding back here. Tends to mean if he couldn't put a creature on the board, that tends to mean this is going to be a Coco in your hand step. Um, I would say. Um, but uh, you, you, you're getting in with a lot. <laughs> Yeah, Coco in, looking to maybe try and find a flying blocker at least to try and deal with your uh, Traxxer. Uh, Paul is hoping. What do we got, Paul? What's in the box? I see a Brumaz. I, I do see a Archeon of Emiria. Of uh, I forget the card. Arche Archeon of Emiria? Emiria? Ar Archon of Emiria. Yeah, there we go. Get your words out, Dave. Um, Archon is a blocker. Yeah, it, it it is exactly equitable to a turn. Um, but you're gonna almost need exactly. Well, I think like we say, uh, Kayla's, there's two Kayla's reconstruction in this deck. Uh, um, need it, need it off the top, and need it for the lot. As we see a Brumaz there as well for, on the screen for those who've forgotten this card. Like again, such a powerful card once that's been incredibly power cracked out of play uh in the the, the, the play time now um but again you're gonna be getting an oculus off that this yeah we said it in the previous the previous matchup where we saw this deck i think we're gonna be seeing oculus on multiple formats and definitely strong in pioneer with this uh this near form elder evolution shell yeah it's it's got its niche in standard with helping hand it's got its niche in pioneer with near form and in modern, just with Psychic Frog and good blue and, and black cards. Yeah, yeah we're going to be seeing a lot of Oculi on a lot of playmats. That's an interesting playmat. Imagine the follow-up playmat for mine. Just an Oculi eye. But this is a Spellbinder. <laughs> Importantly, it's a blocker. It could keep us going here. Oh, but the hand is outstretched. The hand is outstretched. Yeah. I, th I, th I think the yeah, Containment Priest, Containment Priest and Answer, uh, you know, certainly answers if this deck becomes uh, some kind of method of call, but uh, fought a bit short there. I think the Celestia deck needs to have a little bit more tempo rather than hate, but you know, you can never tell the tax man, he's always here to collect the dues anytime we play Pioneer. 
Um, any final thoughts, Scott? I was certainly tax dodging with how little mana I was paying for some of some of my spells, but I got away with it this time. Absolutely. Always pay your taxes, everyone. And always remember to make sure if you are keeping those cards safe to avoid tax paying, use your bulk box .co.uk. Link in description for 10% off. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.